Hello YouTube, this is a little explanation and sort of tutorial about uh, HW Monitor and I'll show you around what this thing does real quick and uh, what the purpose is and I'll show you where to download this as well. Um, I believe thousands and thousands of users use this uh, by, and it's made by CPU ID which is uh, a highly uh, trusted uh, I don't think it might be a company but I don't know much about them but it's highly trusted they make some really awesome software their CPU ID program tells you all the exact specs down to extreme detail so what HW monitor is it's basically system health in a more broad type of way um, it slows your uh, voltages to make sure those are correct uh, this will look different again for everybody's systems um, your fans will be different your temperatures will read different um, stuff like that and I'll tell you what temperatures are healthy and it might vary for different technologies but for um, just uh, in a most common type of way so voltages everything's pretty much normal right here um, it might again it'll vary for you so system 10 uh, this is your system temperature or airflow inside your case CPU 10 that's uh, your CPU temperature overall and aux 10 I don't know what this is because it reads random temperatures um, I'm not too concerned about that if you get like some kind of ridiculous temperatures or RPM like my fans are doing that means it's not reading correctly and I don't think it should be too much of a concern because this program does that because I have other programs that read my sensors so they probably conflict at each other so I shouldn't have to worry about those fans anyway so let's close voltages because those aren't very important at least to me so here you'll see your CPU and then the also the CPU model so AMD Venom 2 times 4 quad core 965 uh, black edition and uh, so here are your cores this will tell you your core temperatures and what's really nice about this program is that it gives you Celsius and also converts it to um, Fahrenheit so you get your value which is down here in a vertical view uh, this is your current live temperature Minimum is your minimum temperature that it's gone down to the lowest. So this is like your lowest temperature you've ever got and when you've had this program open. And your max is your max temperature that you've ever, or uh, is your highest temperature that you've ever gone throughout the history of this program when you have it open on your computer. So next we have Oh yeah, I forgot, uh, you got the wattage for your CPU, so that's there too. Um, next you got your hard drives. Again, this varies for everyone. Uh, assembly, that's like your hard drive temperature. Usually runs through airflow because hard drives don't really produce that much heat. Um, at least that I know of. Uh, so next you got your GPU. I have an AMD Radeon R9 200 series, which is the R9 270X. Uh, you got your voltage, uh, pretty normal so far. Um, again, temperatures, your value, your minimum, and your max. It also shows the fans. And I have a dual fan, but it measures it as just one whole RPM. So where to go to find this, uh, just type in HW Monitor in Google, and it should be the first thing that, pop, that pops up, and it says like CPU ID right next to it, uh, technical resources. Uh, so it'll give you like a little bit of stuff around this, and you can tell this is legit because it's got images of it and it's the real official website and it should say that it's safe and I know a lot of people that use this as well so what you want to do is install the setup at least for I think what most people do I think the zip is for something else and then you just install it and I think you're good to go pretty much and you just open up the program and it would start reading your stuff um, it might take a second to read everything though and as you can see this person here, he's got an Intel Core i7 graphics card. Uh, different readings, again, varies with different people. So that would be pretty much it to wrap up HW Monitor. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like it, subscribe, and comment. And you can ask all the questions you want in the comments and have a discussion if you'd like um, to help out other people and add on to this video if you'd like. Um, perfectly fine with that. I enjoy when people help each other out usually there's a lot of fights on YouTube but there's ways to prevent that anyway um, don't forget to share
favorite this video as well, and also check out my other videos. I have uh, other tutorials out there for overclocking and gaming videos. I do a lot of Roblox. I have tutorial videos as well. Um, kind of a wide variety. Anyways, guys, see you later.